when you founded a 501c3 nonprofit organization, and, and let me get this right, the Institute for Research on Unlimited Love, mm -hmm. through which you founded research at more than 60 universities on the science of unselfish giving, and its underpinnings of philosophy and spiritual wisdom. How did that come about? I got the very good fortune of meeting uh, Sir John Templeton in about 1994. He was a famous investor. He founded the Templeton Mutual Funds, which are now Franklin Templeton. Uh, Sir John uh, had sold his funds and uh, was starting to support work in the area of what he called spiritual progress. And that meant creativity, genius, forgiveness, gratitude, generosity, love, uh, thrift, uh, a whole set of um, core virtues that he felt make a life worth living. Uh, so I uh, had written an article in the American Journal of Psychiatry in about 1992 that was um, pushing psychiatry a bit because it was so focused on human deficits and disease and mental illnesses, which is incredibly important, of course, you know. But, uh, but what about the great human assets and how they affect our lives, how they affect our health, how they allow us to negotiate life in ways that are truly flourishing? You could bring the best methods of science to that, developmentally, uh, spiritually, you could, you, could, you could look at brain scans, you could do everything you do with human deficit, but apply it to these great strengths. So, I was, so in 2001, I was sitting in my office in the medical school at Case Western, where I was a professor, and I got an early morning fax from Sir John. And it said, Stephen, we should start an institute that doesn't study human disease, but studies the greatest human asset, which is love. And he didn't mean selfish love. He meant really generous love that we don't talk enough about. And I had a moment of um, trepidation just because I was in an academic medical center where everybody studies, you know, Alzheimer's or whatever it might be. So I faxed back, Sir John, this is a great idea. What should we call it? He faxed back to me, well, I think the Institute for Research on Unlimited Love. I have to tell you. Uh, I wasn't quite sure because I thought, what are my friends going to think? What kind of love are we talking about? Mm -hmm. So Good I question. faxed back to Sir John. Uh, maybe we should call it the Institute for Creative Altruism because that's very dry and sciencey. And he faxed back, no, I think Institute for Research on Unlimited Love, $8.9 million. And I faxed back, Sir John, I, I love that language. It jumps right off the page. Great. And, and it worked, and he was right, because we were able to connect with science, but also with all the great spiritual traditions in a way that was much more effective than anything else would have been.